One of the reasons the original Gossip Girl was so good is that it was full of edgy villains with horrible intentions. Most brand new shows will never hold a candle to the original Gossip Girl series. It was incredibly intense and fun to watch. Here's a ranking of Gossip Girl's 10 most devious problem makers. Juliet Sharp. Juliet Sharp makes the cut as the villain in 10th place. She was incredibly vindictive in her actions. She used Nate Archibald to get closer to Serena Vander Woodson because she wanted to seek revenge. Ultimately, she did not get away with her crimes. It was later uncovered that the reason she was angry with Serena wasn't even viable. Lily Vander Woodson is the reason Juliet's brother got locked up in jail. Russell Thorpe. Russell Thorpe lands in ninth place as a sleazy villain from Gossip Girl. He lied to his own daughter about the death of his wife by trying to pin it on Bart Bass. As a reminder, he set fire to a building that she was trapped in. Although he was a grown man, he was constantly trying to go head-to-head -head against Chuck Bass when it came to business prowess. His immaturity and arrogance were his downfall. Louis Grimaldi Louis Grimaldi was the absolute worst. What kind of clown tries to force a woman to stay in a loveless marriage? When he found out Blair still had romantic feelings for Chuck, it was understandable that he would be heartbroken over it. But the fact that he tried to force her to stay in the marriage by threatening to bankrupt her family was sickening. Georgina Sparks Georgina Sparks comes in seventh place on this list since she wasn't completely evil through and through. She was a troubled girl who was highly problematic, but there were also times when she attempted to redeem herself. As far as her evil side goes, she definitely drugged Serena at one point. She also pretended Dan was the father of her baby. There's no denying that she was an effed up individual. Gabriel Edwards Gabriel Edwards is in sixth place on this list for trying to swindle Serena's entire family out of their wealth. He dated Serena as a way of getting closer to the rich people she knew, but he ended up catching feelings for her. It was a little too late, though. You can't try to steal money from someone's family and think you'll be able to date them after. Poppy Lifton Poppy Lifton is worse than Gabriel because she seemed to be the con artist who came up with their diabolical idea to steal money from Serena's network of wealthy friends and family members. Poppy always gave off insecure vibes while judging everyone around her. There was truly nothing likable about her as a character. Ivy Dickens. Ivy Dickens is the fourth place villain for attempting to edge Lily out of her New York penthouse while trying to dig her heels into Rufus Humphrey. She only pretended to be in love with Rufus to hurt Lily. As a reminder, she was secretly also hooking up with Serena's biological father, William Vander Woodson. Ivy got addicted to a lifestyle of wealth and opulence. She forgot that lifestyle didn't actually ever belong to her. Agnes Andrews. Agnes Andrews is the third place villain from Gossip Girl. She had every opportunity to thrive as a model with Jenny Humphrey by her side as a fashion designer. Instead of showing a modicum of maturity, she sabotaged everything. Worst of all, she lit Jenny's dress collection on fire. It was callous and completely unforgivable. After that, she drugged Jenny and set her up to be essayed at a nightclub. Like, are we serious here? Trip Vanderbilt. Trip Vanderbilt lands in second place for being a scum of the earth individual. He cheated on his wife with Serena, tried to convince Serena to be his mistress, and then got into a car accident with Serena in the passenger seat. His worst crime of all was moving Serena's body to the driver's seat and leaving her stranded there until the paramedics arrived. It was completely sinister. Fortunately, Nate punched him in the face afterward. Bart Bass. The number one villain is definitively Bart Bass. He made Chuck feel unlovable for the majority of Chuck's life, which was incredibly sad to see. Bart's actions were the reason Chuck grew up to be such a troubled and problematic teenager and young adult. In the end, Bart tried to murder Chuck on the rooftop of the Empire. There's no argument that Bart is the literal worst villain of the entire Gossip Girl series. What do you think of these Gossip Girl villains? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below.